Hi everyone, this is Garezo here and welcome to tutorial number two. In this tutorial, I'm sharing a kind of eureka moment I had when I figured out a way of combining multiple set matter effects in one layer. And it's pretty simple. There'll be some valuable tips along the way, so make sure you watch the whole video. As always, you can find the project file for this tutorial for free on my Gunroad page. Okay, so what's the problem here? We have this handy effect called setMed, which is really powerful but has some limitations. The most obvious use of this effect is to make it possible to use a single layer to mask several other layers in your comp, so you don't have to have lots of duplicates and tons of layers in your comp. So for example, if you want to use this square as a mask for these circles, all you have to do is to apply the setMed effect and select the square layer here, Let's just hide the square so we can see it properly. Then copy the effect and paste to the other circles. Awesome, but let's say you want to do the other way around. Let's just press Ctrl or Command Shift E to remove all effects. So now you want these four circles to mask this square without pre-comping. How would you do it? The first logical thing you might try is to just apply the set matter effect to the square. Duplicate the effects a couple of times and select the layers here. But that doesn't work because After Effects is reading the effects stack in order, so the next set matter effect is masking what's already been masked. But I found a very easy workaround for this. The idea here is to invert all the mats and then use our original layer as a mat to invert everything back again. So all you have to do is to check invert mat for these set mat effects here. And then add another set mat effect, selecting the layer we are applying the effect to here and take mat from layer. Also inverting the mat to invert everything again. But now with the composite mat with the original unchecked. To make this work we need to take into account all the effects applied to this layer before applying this new set mat. To do that, we just need to change this order drop down here to effects and masks. But it's grayed out. For some weird reason, After Effects won't let you do it when you have the layer you are applying the effect to already selected. But here's the catch. All you have to do is to change the layer selector to none, or any layer other than the layer you are applying the effects to, then select effects and masks, which is not grayed out anymore and then go back to the layer selector and select our original layer here. Great, but if you check the transparency grid here, you'll see that the outside of the shape is solid now. That's because we are inverting the whole mat. To fix this, all we have to do is to add another set mat effect with default settings. Let's just turn off these layers here so we can see it. And that's it, you can combine as many set mat effects as you want with this technique. Oh good, but wait a second. Let's keep exploring and tap into some of these effects, no limitations. Let's say now you want to move the layer be masked. If the layer is a shape or a text layer, like this square, it will be just fine. But if it's not, we have some problems. Let's press Ctrl Command 0 to open the project panel, and then let's open this other comp here. First, if your layer is not the same size as your comp, like here, you have to uncheck this stretch mat to fit to make it work. But now if you move it, the masked areas will follow it. And you probably don't want that. That happens because After Effects reads effects before transformations for this kind of layers. The best way around that is to just pre-compose the layer, leaving all attributes in the main comp, and then turning on collapse transformations. This will basically reverse the render order and make After Effects to look first for the transformations and then the effects. Now you can move the layer around freely. For some reason, when we are not working with shape layers, you can get these pixel lines here. We can fix that by adding a minimax effect before all the other effects, setting the channel to alpha and increasing the number here. Any number will do. Cool, okay. So, last but not least, let's get a bit more advanced here. What if you want to keyframe or change the layer used as a mat via expressions? 
For more weird reasons, the layer selector of the set matter effect is not keyframable. This means we cannot directly change it via expressions. But there is a not so glamorous workaround for this too. What we can do is to apply one set matte effect for every possible layer you want to use as a mat for that layer. Just like what we did here. Then you control everything using the use for mat option. Turning mats on and off as you need them. So let's start by creating a node. And call it control. And add a layer control to it. To make the next steps easier, let's click on the layer name on the effects control panel here and create a new effects control viewer. So we can lock it in place like so. Now alt click the stopwatch for use for mat for the first set mat effect. What we'll do here is to compare the layer selected on our layer control to the layer selected here. Okay, now let's write a bit of expression, starting with an if statement. Type if, pick whip our layer control here, then period index not equal, which is represented by an exclamation mark and an equal sign, then pick whip the take mat from layer, and type period index, close parentheses, then 10 else 4, same column. These numbers represent the index of the selection on the drop down menu. If you count it here, you see that the alpha channel is number 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and off is number 10. So if the selected layers are not equal, I'm telling After Effects to turn the set mat off. And if I select the layer here, it turns it back on again. We can then simplify this code to make it work just by copying and pasting to the other effects. In a line above, let's create a variable and call it effect index. And equal that to this property, period property group, open parentheses, one close parentheses, period property index, semicolon. This is basically moving one level up from where we are applying the effects to to get the index of the effects above. Then we replace what's inside the parentheses here with our variable. And now we have a code that can just be copied and pasted to the other effects. So let's right click over the property name here and select copy expression only. Now just select all set matte effects except the last two and paste. And there you have it. Now you can just select the layer on our layer control here and the set matte effects will change to that layer. However, if you select none here, you get an error, because when you do that, it makes the layer property literally disappear from our expression. So to fix that, we can use a try catch statement. It will basically try the expression and if we get any errors, it will do something different. So we just have to put this line inside try, close brackets here and type catch error and then 10 which is the off index number. So this is just telling After Effects that if we get an error, I want to disable the set mat, setting it to off. If you want to select more than one layer as a mat at the same time, you can just duplicate the layer control and just make adjustments to the expression. I'm not going to explain it here, but you can find that on the project file. And alright, I guess that's it for this one. Feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comments section. And if you like these videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.